Japan will join our mission to send U.S. astronauts to space. We'll be going to the moon. We'll be going to Mars very soon. It's very exciting. And from a military standpoint, there is nothing more important right now than space. That was President Trump talking about the future of space exploration during his trip to Japan over the weekend. Women are making strides but are still underrepresented in the fields that make up STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Our next guest is trying to change all of that. Joining us right now is the Mars Generation founder and STEM influencer, Abigail Harrison. And Abigail, it's great to have you to be uh, here this morning. Thanks so much. Thank you, yeah. Your, so your dream is to be the first astronaut to go to Mars. Why? Because I think that it's the next step that the United States and the world as a whole needs to take, and someone needs to be willing to take that step. And so from an early age, I decided that I had a passion for space travel, and I wanted to help push humanity forwards in that regard. So what do you think you'll see there? A lot of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but actually my field of study that I do research in is astrobiology. So looking at the possibility of life in space. Uh, so with that, I'm really hopeful that by putting humans on Mars and continuing our research there, we'll find signs of past or present life. And it'll, it's not, I'm not talking about aliens like we usually think about them, so not green and tentacles and ten eyes, but rather looking for things that are single cellular, um, rather basic, but that will allow us to find that first sign of life off of Earth. You know, a while back, uh, Bill Maher got some criticism for saying, we don't need to think about Mars. We need to think about problems here. What is your reaction to, you know, people who have that sort of philosophy? They say, we've got to focus on problems here on Earth. Defend why we need to explore places like Mars. One of the reasons, one of the primary reasons why we need to be going to Mars is specifically because of that, because we have so many problems here on Earth that need to be addressed and need to be fixed. And the way that you fix them is by having these unique solutions and innovations happen. And we only get those by really pushing ourselves, by challenging ourselves. And space is the best way to do that, by pushing our boundaries, putting humans in situations that are so extremely hostile and that we've never faced before, by pushing our limits and trying to always do more, go to the next place, do the next thing, we are forcing ourselves to innovate in order to not only survive but thrive in these environments. And so in doing so, we actually improve life here on Earth. And it's been shown that there's incredible economic stimulus that comes from space travel, um, incredible technological growth and innovation, and it also inspires a generation to believe and to dream and to have a lot of hope and, and care and love for the planet that we're living on it's today. A great answer. It's it great. Is, it really Thank is. you. Really quickly, you graduate from Wellesley. You said this Friday. Do you get a job with NASA? Is that <laughs> next? Because, again, just in layman's terms, how do you get to Mars? That's a great question. So I'm not an astronaut yet. I'm not affiliated with NASA yet. I uh, will be graduating with my undergraduate degree, and um, I'm aspiring to be an astronaut. But after that, I'll be going on to get a uh, doctorate and then start applying towards the astronaut corps. So a couple of years out. Wow. Good luck, Abigail. We'll be watching. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so much, astronaut Abby. Abigail Harrison joining us.